Here to present the Lifetime Aviation Entrepreneur Award is the world's highest time pilot, Clay Lacey, a past recipient of the very same award and personal friend to J. Robert Duncan. Well, it's, it's a great honor for me to um, be able to give this award to Bob Duncan. Uh, I've known uh, three generations of Duncans. Uh, Donald Duncan, uh, Bob's uh, father, and uh, now his son is chairman of the company. Uh, and um, I met uh, Don Duncan when um, the Learjet first came out. Uh, back in 1964. Uh, they were the distributors in the Midwest and uh, I was involved with the distributorship on the West Coast. Uh, at any rate, Bob um, took over the company at a young age, about 25 years old. And at that time, they had less than 50 employees. Um, today, they have almost 2,000. And uh, the company has, uh, uh, where it had one location, it has over 25 now. And, uh, and all through this, they've maintained a very high level of uh, quality on everything they do, uh, really first class, first class company. And um, Bob flies his own jet, uh, flew out here uh, for this event. And uh, I, uh, the company um, is uh, certainly respected by everyone in corporate aviation. They're just a fabulous company. And uh, Bob, uh, being such a first class guy, he's been able to uh, keep the company at uh, that level. We're going to have a um, video here on. Um, Bob Duncan. My first memory of aviation is flying on my dad's lap when I was probably six, seven, eight years old, holding on to the controls. Uh, so I grew up around aviation. It's been a, just an in, interwoven in my life for my entire life. It's obvious that I'm in a business that flying is an integral part of the business. Uh, we've always used airplanes. We've all of my entire family flies and so if you're in the airplane uh, you're, you're there to sell it or to get somewhere to conduct business. Our company has a culture of innovation and change uh, and I do think I'm partially responsible for that. I like to uh, see myself as a creative person and so there's been hundreds and hundreds of ideas that we've implemented because people at Duncan Aviation are free to try things, free to experiment with things. Uh, free to come up with new new ideas. I was actually in a shoe store, in a, a shoe department at a department store one day, talking to the man about how his business was. He said, well, we're not a part of the department store. We're, we're shoe people and we just lease this space here. I thought, God, maybe we could do that for the aviation business. So that started our satellite avionic shops, which we have 20 of today and it's still growing. It's not being better than anybody else. That's really important. You're going to get a group of people that you want to follow you and, and work alongside you. You've got to truly work alongside them. And um, so it's a, we've created an atmosphere here where everyone has told the truth, where we uh, are free to speak out, where uh, we know how important it is to take care of each other and then take care of the customer as well. It's a friendly, um, fun place to work. I mean, I've had a lot of fun working here and I can see it in the employees. The best satisfaction I had out of the business was when we were named to Fortune's 100 Best Places to Work For. That told me that we'd really created a business that the employees love and that we'd done something important. We have made a mark, a real mark on business aviation in the world. And today we're the largest privately owned uh, aircraft service organization in, in business aircraft. Um, and I'm very, very proud of that. And, the, and the, what I'm also proud of is it's going to continue. And I get comments wherever we go about the design of the airplane. I'm, I'm proud of the paint job, I'm proud of the attention it brings to Duncan Aviation, and it's another example of our creativity here.
Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Duncan. Wow, is this fun or what? This is a terrific evening. I'm just tickled to death to be a part of it. And I want to congratulate all the honorees, both tonight and in the past. Uh, you all are truly making a wonderful, wonderful contribution to our industry, to, the, to our passion for aviation. And it's, it's so, so very important. And I'm just delighted and proud to be a part of this prestigious group. I've lived my dreams. Uh, I dreamed to learn to fly, a dream to fly, and a dream to build a world-class company. I'm still an active pilot after 55 years and almost 20,000 hours, not nearly what Clay has done. Uh, and in fact, uh, I, as that was mentioned, uh, we flew our, Karen and I flew our Cessna Mustang out here for this meeting, and it's parked at uh, Clay Lacey Aviation. Uh, we're proud of that as well. However, the recognition tonight is all about what we achieved while building Duncan Aviation. I want to begin by saluting my late father, Donald Duncan. Uh, many of you here knew Donald. Um, he was a great aviator, a great salesman. He sold over 450 Learjets in his time. He was a great father and a great businessman. We really have him to thank for the values that have enabled Duncan Aviation to not only become one of the best businesses in aviation, but one of the best businesses, period. He was a true entrepreneur. I thank and share this award with each and every one of the 2,000 Duncan employees. They are the real reason that I am standing here accepting this award tonight and I certainly accept it on their behalf. Four of our employees are back at our table tonight. Thank you for everything that you do. 2012 is Duncan Aviation's, yes, let's, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> 2012 is Duncan's 56th anniversary. Donald, my father, was the first generation providing the spark and the value system that we still live with today. I am the second generation. But the best news of all is that the third generation is now in place. Our son, Todd, who is providing great leadership as Duncan's chairman. Todd, we are so very, very proud of you and confident that you'll continue to grow the company just as it has done in the past. I'm told that very few businesses last through the third generation. But not only is Duncan Aviation lasting, but we are growing and thriving, and Todd has two twin boys who are just beginning to learn to fly. Perhaps a fourth generation, who knows? But most importantly, I'd like to thank and recognize my partner for 47 years, my wife, Karen. Could we bring up the lights so we can see Todd and Karen? Here we go right, right back here. Karen and I started going to flight breakfast in a J3 Cub when I was 16 years old. And uh, she'd be happy to tell you about some of the shenanigans that went on in that Cub, I'm sure. She has her pilot's license, Todd flies, our daughter Paige flies. In fact, the whole ham family has their pilot's license. Uh, we're all deeply involved and committed to aviation. Uh, Karen and I enjoy flying on a daily basis. We've had a, uh, a trip all, all around the western part of the United States this time. It's really, really special, dear, to be able to share all of that with you. I want to end by giving a quote that I put on the end of my emails, and it's by Kurt Vonnegut. I want to stay as close to the edge as I can without going over. Out on the edge, you see all kinds of things you can't from the center. Thank you all very, very much for this great honor, and thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Robert Duncan.